beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Num Creations and I'm Nova and I am so happy to see you today. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well and that you're taking care of the best that you can and I hope that you guys are having a fantastic week. It is Thursday so you have made it through most of the week and it is November now. Halloween is over, so hopefully you guys had fun with Halloween. Hopefully you guys checked out my Halloween video this week. I put out a nice big hour-long video with community spotlight and all this amazingness in it. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you catch it. Um, and before we start shifting into Christmas mode over here. <laughs> so today I have something kind of fun to share with you guys. Um, Paint Some Way, which is a company that sent me some stuff about... A month ago I did a video uh, actually sent me some more stuff so I've got a couple things to unbox and check out and share with you guys um, I will link that video down in the description box below but I have a little gray mailer package here um, last time I got like some like lacy uh, yarns and a little cake bag so I got some different stuff this time and I haven't checked it out yet. I was waiting to check it out with you guys. So let's see. Um, the first item comes completely like taped up and bubble wrapped. So let me get my little box cutter uh, to open this up. My little box cutter cloud. <laughs> and make easy work of this, which would probably be so hard to open otherwise. Or maybe I'm just being extra, which is also entirely possible. I'm being careful to make sure I don't um, scratch what's inside of here also. So there's like multiple layers of bubble wrap. They really got this packaged in here to keep it safe, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so this... I think I can pull it out now. There we go. <laughs> okay, so this is a needle threader. This was all of the bubble wrap that it was in, by the way. <laughs> this is a needle threader, and it's got gnomes on it. Let me take it out of this little plastic. So I believe this is magnetic. Let me see. Let me grab a needle. Let me grab a metal needle. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so this is a needle threader and it is magnetic. It's got a magnet right here on one side. Okay, so the other side is not magnetic, but this other, this one side is very magnetic. If you guys didn't hear it snap into place uh, very solidly. I've got a little pile of stuff that I'm working on over here and I just almost knocked it over. Okay, let's see, let's show you guys. Oh, it's sparkly. All right. So I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. Oh, I think you can. I actually did not know that this was sparkly. This actually looks better in person than it did on their website. I'm not even going to lie. So it's sparkly. It's got these adorable gnomes pushing, uh, one gnome pushing another in a like cart of flowers. And then on the other side, it has the same picture, just kind of flipped, but it's got this magnetic circle. So if you guys haven't used one of these, this is absolutely so helpful. Um, real quick, I'll show you how it works. So you have your needle. Um, and I use mostly these larger darning needles, but sometimes I use chunkier yarns too. So it can be really helpful to be able to thread it with one of these because you just put this through the eye of your needle and then you hook your yarn on that and then you can just pull it through. And it has two different sizes so you can do a bulkier uh, size or a smaller size um, depending on what you're working with. I actually love this. 
So not only would the magnet be useful for uh, sticking needles to it, but it would also be useful if you keep your needles in something magnetic, like a magnetic tin or something. Um, you could totally just stick this to the tin and it would stay on there. That is really, really cool. I actually love this. Um, it actually looks a lot nicer in person, but I just, I needed another needle threader and I was like, gnomes. Um, this was $3.99. So this is $3.99 on their website. I will link uh, everything I show you guys. I will put links to in the description box in case you guys are interested in it. But yeah, 10 out of 10 on that. That is cute. And it has glitter in it and it has gnomes on it. So very happy with that. All right. The next thing I got is I got some more yarn. So they do have a like small selection of yarn on their website. And last time I got like the thread, like lacy sized, um, yarn and they were really pretty came in gorgeous colors. So this time I thought I would get a little bit of normal yarn and this is actually milk cotton which I have never had milk cotton. So this is supposed to be really soft and like anti-pilling. That is incredibly soft. So here is the color. Uh, the colorway for this one is literally called colorful. Um, and they do do quite a few different colors. So this is what it looks like. Give you kind of a 360 view. It's 50 grams, um, manufactured in China uh, by China Dahua Textile Cashmere Products Company Limited. Um, and I don't know how many yards or feet or anything like that. It does not say on the listing or on the ball band, but um, this is a gradient milk cotton is what they have it listed as. Uh, it is in the colorway of colorful and it is 50 grams. It's, um, made in like the worsted, you know, way of making yarn. This is really, really soft, like super soft and it's not supposed to pill. Um, this is $2.99 on their website. So I will say that, um, it's so weird that they call this milk cotton and then it's 100% acrylic, but I don't really know a whole lot about milk cotton. I remember uh, Chris um, from Chris, Ro Chris Loves Crochet uh, talking about milk cotton and it being from like the fibers like of the milk milkweed or something. I don't know. I don't actually remember what she said, but I remember her talking about it. Um, but I'm weirded out that it says it's acrylic, 100% acrylic. But then it says that it's milk cotton. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not sure what that means, but this is really, really soft, like super soft. So I really like it as far as the softness goes. Um, I would say that the weight is probably like probably like a two, maybe a three. Um, I'll have to work with this and let you guys know what I think of it. But as far as like the color, I love the color. It's very vibrant. Um, the softness, it's incredibly soft. 50 grams for $2.99. Seems like a uh, average kind of price maybe a little bit on the more expensive side. I'm not really sure. But for how pretty this yarn is, I think it's worth it. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next item. I've got some skizzers. So these come in the most boring packaging ever. <laughs> but these are embroidery scissors. And I got them in, um, does it say what colorway that this is? Well, either way, these are quality stainless steel scissors, it says on here. European classical style, novel style, and exquisite decoration. Sharp edge, use with, use with care. Um, these come in six different colors. They come in titanium, bronze, brass, blue, gold, and silver. I think... I 
I'm not sure what color I got. <laughs> I will put it in the uh, description with the link. That way, if you guys are interested in the color that I got, I think these are these are the titanium. So here is what they look like. They're really, really pretty. I'm obsessed with embroidery scissors. I love getting cool embroidery scissors. So I'm all about like, it's like Pokemon, gotta catch them all. <laughs> Every time I see new embroidery scissors, I'm like, oh, I need those. <laughs> so I think that these are super, super pretty. Interesting, okay. So I'm assuming they oil these uh, to like lubricate them, but my blade is wet. You'd think that uh, they would make sure they wiped that off really well before they packaged it up. But um, yeah, it comes away clear. But yeah, my my blade is wet on my scissors. I'm pretty sure that that was oil from them lubing up the scissors. So like not a big deal, but kind of strange that they left that on there. Okay, so the scissors do open and close well. Get you guys back on focus here. So you can see the design, very ornate, very pretty. And I'm not gonna hold it against them that there was like some oil on the blade. It's easy to wipe off, no big deal. I mean, in case, unless you didn't notice it and then pulled them out and went to use them, that actually could have been a little bit of an issue with yarn, um, getting oil on your yarn. But I think these are super pretty. And these are $3.99. Um, I think that these are a fantastic price for $3.99. These are also very large embroidery scissors. Like for comparison, um, what did I do with the embroidery scissors I had like two seconds before filming this video? <laughs> One second. Here we go. These are from Hobby Lobby. So you can see that there's a bit of a size difference. Don't mind the fact that there's yarn stuck in the tip of this. <laughs> And there is, uh, these are like double the price of this. Um, so I would definitely say worth it. And I love the color. I am a sucker for this. Um, like I, I think of this as like an oil spill color, um, with all the like rainbow effect in it. I have several pairs of embroidery scissors with this kind of effect and I really, really like it. These are very comfortable. They have large holes for your fingers. They open and close really easy. So, so far, oh, I don't know. I was going to say so far, I think this is my favorite thing, but I don't know. I also did get that gnome uh, needle threader, but I think I have to go with the scissors. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what your favorite thing is. I have one more thing for this, this haul and it is, I got some uh, diamond painting stickers. So this is supposed to come with two sheets of diamond painting stickers. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it up so that you and I can see what's inside a little bit easier. If I can get a grip on the plastic to do so. All right. So these are like holiday themed and stuff like that. It comes with your diamonds and your little tray and your little stick for doing your diamonds and some wax. So very standard and you know, the things you need, the tools you need to do it with. Um, this is supposed to come with two sheets, it said. It said two small sheets. So let's see. Yes, there we go, okay. So we've got like happy birthday, gnomes with balloons, cake, 
There's some tiny ones of like hearts and stars. Uh, a little girl gnome that has braids and a little like party popper. A balloon. Presents and hearts and stars. A little gnome with a present. And then we've got a present, a gnome with a cake, a gnome with some uh, bunting or pendants or whatever you want to call that, um, a gnome with another balloon. Was there one on the other side with the balloon? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. The one with the bundle of balloons. So one with a single balloon. Then there's also the balloons by themselves. So this is super duper cute. Um, and I was thinking that these would be really cute for cards, for putting on cards, you know. So we've got like happy birthday and cakes and all that stuff too. But then also we've got six different gnomes that are um, neutral enough that you could really use them for anything. They don't say happy birthday or Merry Christmas or anything on them. So you could pretty much put these on any card because it's like, you know, just them being happy and having party stuff or um, them having balloons or cakes or presents. So I think that these are adorable and these would be a fun little touch to put on um, uh, cards. <laughs> and those are diamond painting stickers, comes with two small sheets for $1.99. So I think that that is a fantastic price, absolutely. Um, two bucks for all of this and it comes with, uh, you know, all the tools and diamonds and everything you need. You can't beat that. Like you absolutely cannot beat that. So, um, this was my second little haul from Paint Some Way and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed actually. Um, between my first haul and this haul, I'm really impressed. I actually, uh, I think that their prices are good and I think that their stuff is good quality. Um, so I will drop the links in the description box for all of this stuff. You can feel free to check it out. Um, it doesn't, I'm not, I don't make money off of this in any way. Um, this is just them sending me some stuff and me opening it and sharing it with you guys. Um, so don't feel pressured or anything like that, but you know, you can see, see if you like it and who doesn't like to see a new company and see if it's something they're interested in. Um, they have like embroidery stuff, um, or not embroidery. Well, I mean, technically, yes, embroidery, um, but cross stitch, diamond paintings. They also have yarn and like, you know, some crochet and knit type stuff. So there's a good variety for crafty folks. I have something sitting here that I'm working on. Well, I can just tell you guys what it is. It's my gnome for gnome of the month. It is almost done. Uh, I literally am working on the finishing touches and it's sitting literally right next to me, staring at me. And so I keep looking at it and I realize that probably looks weird because I keep be like <laughs> anyway I'm gonna get back to work on that I just wanted to pop on here and say good morning to you guys I hope you have a fantastic Thursday and I will see you guys tomorrow and we will have community spotlight bye guys